Good evening, and welcome to the Tri-Cities Mountain Empire Weekly Digital Fusion Net. This is the important net control station for this evening's net. This net meets each Tuesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time in room 61243, the uh, Bristol Amateur Radio Club Fusion Room. The mirrors room 40843 will serve as a backup should the Bristol room be down at net time. At this time, before I go into normal net procedures, I would like to ask that uh, all amateurs please stand by for a last call and tribute to a silent key. Again, please stand by for a last call. K9MI. K9 MI K9 MI Nothing heard. It is my sad duty to inform you that Amateur radio station K9MI, Mike Brown of Bristol, Tennessee, passed away Friday, January the 3rd, 2020. Mike was born in Anderson, Indiana on February 28, 1956. Mike worked for... He enjoyed music, bowling, ham radio, and was an active member of the AWRL and the Bristol Amateur Radio Club. Mike had been in this area and part of our club for a short time, uh, but we certainly enjoyed the time we got to spend with him and appreciate him becoming active in our club. Mike did not have the opportunity to ever check into this net or the previous version of this net. Um, as he and I were going to go to the Morristown Ham Fest on January the 4th, and he was going to purchase his first fusion radio. He was looking forward to that and excited about it. Uh, Mike passed away uh, one day before we could do this. Um, so please keep his family in your thoughts and prayers. N4NT. Okay. Whenever possible, recordings of this net are uploaded to the Bristol Amateur Radio Club's YouTube page and also broadcast live on the uh, Bristol Amateur Radio Club Facebook page. This net image from the Tri-Cities area consisting of counties in Northeast Tennessee and the Mountain Empire. All amateurs are welcome to check in. The purpose of this net is to promote good fellowship among amateur radio operators, encourage the use of the the fusion digital mode, improve communication skills, allow contacts outside of the Tri-Cities and Mountain Empire area, and to share technical information and comments with the group. We do have a uh, web page for the net. It is spell.net slash TCME for Tri-Cities Mountain Empire. Each week on the net, we invite amateurs to check in and comment. We also pose a question um, for each check-in to answer if, if they so choose uh, in order to gain information and also uh, these uh, question and comment sessions are very educational and informative. So before we start taking check-ins, the question for this week is what is your favorite mode to operate? AM, FM, sideband, CW, or digital modes? Uh, this question was submitted by Robert K4HPY, and we certainly appreciate that. Again, what is your favorite mode to operate? AM, FM, sideband, CW, or digital? Uh, whenever you check in, please give us your name, column, location, and let us know if you're going to stay for comments or if you are in and out. 
At this time, we'll begin taking check-ins from any station. Any station, please call now. W-E-4-A-W-J, Emmett and Bristol. This is AB-8-RL, Tom and... This is 84 WMX Kilo Dr. Four Whiskey Mike X Ray coming to you from, from the 443 KM4 repeater. J1KC, Chris, near Atlanta. Whiskey Ro 8 Romeo Tango, please check me in and out. Control, please check in. KD4, CCO, Dallas in Bristol. I'll stick around for a comment. Okay, let me run through the list of what I've got here. We've got WE4, AWJ, Emmett in Bristol, Virginia, AV8RL, Tom in Scott Depot, West Virginia. KD4, WMX, Ken in Quiet Lodi, Virginia, K1KC, Chris outside of Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, we had uh, Wiki 8 Romeo Tango, WARP, uh, got you checked in and out from Michigan. Thanks for checking in with us tonight. And KD4, CCO, Dallas in Bristol, Virginia. Are there any other stations that would like to check in? Please call now. Recheck. Yeah, sorry about that. I just noticed I, uh, I chopped the letter off your call there. It's Whiskey, Whiskey 8, Romeo Tango, correct? Uh, Roger, that is correct, and it's Steve, and I am in Milton, West Virginia. Okay, sorry about that, Steve. Yeah, I knew when I, when I typed that in, it came up with a club, na club name in Michigan, and I was like, well, that's a familiar voice and an unfamiliar well, I typed in, so yeah, sorry about that. We got you logged correctly now. Whiskey, Whiskey, A Romeo Tango. Steve, uh, thanks for checking in with us, and we'll put you as in and out. Uh, any other stations like to check in, please call now. N4 XRD. Sorry about the echo there. N4 XRD, Ralph and Shalawi. Whiskey One, Romeo Tango, Romeo, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Good evening. Okay, we picked up a few more there. N4 XRD, uh, Ralph and Chill Highway, Virginia. And there was a double, I saw the call sign come up, KV8ZIO. Um, I didn't hear you, but I saw your call come up. Are you, are you checking in uh, to comment or are you going to be in and out? Sir, I'll hang in. Okay, good deal. We'll be back to you for comments. Thanks for checking in. I believe this may be your, uh, your first time with us. Uh, good to have you. And then uh, uh, W1RTR, Mike, in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, got you on the list as well. All right, well, let's, uh, let's give my fingers a break for just a minute, and we'll start to uh, run through some of these. Um, I'll remind everyone the question for the night is, uh, what is your favorite mode to operate? Um, you, uh, of course, we ask if you if you don't mind to answer the question. That's uh, strictly optional, and any other comments you would like to make, you're certainly welcome to do so as well. Uh, we'll start with uh, WE4AWJ, Emmett in Bristol, Virginia. Well, good evening, Adam. 
and everyone on the net and everybody listening. This is WE4AWJ Emmett in Bristol, Virginia. Well, it's been uh, a rainy day here in the Tri-Cities area and uh, basically didn't get much done today except stay inside. And that's pretty much what I figured I'm going to do tomorrow if it keeps raining. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it for me and uh, my favorite is HF Sideband Boys, because that's uh, what I remember most when I was young. Anyway, that's it. And we'll turn it back to net control. This is WE4AWJ. Okay, Emmett, thanks for checking in, and I uh, appreciate the comments. Now, yeah, I meant to, uh, before I started the round of check-ins, to go ahead and answer the question myself. That way, too, I could help... Uh, give an idea of where we were going with it, but you, you did just fine. I'll go ahead, though, and, and just throw out my answer to the question before I can move to the next check-in. And Basically, uh, I can't really pin down a favorite mode. Um, it depends on uh, what day of the week it is or what have you. Uh, I'm loving uh, working C4FM and Wires X Fusion, whatever variation you want to call it. Um, but I also like uh, working HS. I've uh, been checking into some rag chew nets lately after I got my DXCC. I kind of went back to rag chewing a little more and, um, and just checking in on Sideman. But uh, I've also thoroughly enjoyed ST8 and ST4. And chances are I'll be spending quite a bit of time on those modes again. Um, I took a lightning hit in August, and I haven't been on any of those modes, hadn't done any contesting or anything since then, uh, due to not having the computer to be able to do all that. Well, I got that situation fixed and then discovered that uh, there was a malfunction with my radio, so I had to send it in for uh, warranty repair, and I should have it back by the end of the month. And I'd say when it rolls in, then I'll be uh, I'll be on FTA or FT4 quite a bit. But the cool thing about that mode is uh, I can do that with the kids being in the background and being as loud as they want to, or if they're asleep, I talk to people on 2 meter and 70 centimeter, wires X and all that, and still work that mode at the same time. So that's a pretty cool feature of that. All right, that was my, my two cents on the question there, so I'll move next to uh, AB Depot, West Virginia. Good evening, Tom. Huh? Okay, good evening, Adam and Annette, to AB8RL. Very, very great, a very good question tonight. Um, my statistics aren't going to support my answer, but in uh, 2019, uh, I did log 3,015 contacts. Uh, of those contacts, 66% were digital, which were primarily either RTTY or mostly FTA. 4.4% were sideband, and 28.72% were CW. And I get these statistics off being a member of uh, uh, Club Log. But, uh, however, uh, when asking, and that's very consistent with 2018, 65% digital, 9% phone, and 25% CW. But my preference to uh, my favorite mode would really be uh, uh, CW, and I've been, I've been pounding CW since uh, 1967, 1968, and uh, fairly proficient at it and really enjoy that mode uh, immensely, even though the contacts in the last two years uh, don't reflect that. I still stay active on it. Kind of got bit by the FT8 bug and got a little lazy. That's my answer there, uh, Adam. Running a great net, got a lot of good check-ins. N4 NT in the net, A B A R L. Hey Tom, thanks for checking in, and I really like the way you answered that question too. Uh, you know, associating your answer, backing it up with uh, with your own statistics of, uh, of the year before. That's that's pretty neat. I, I wouldn't have thought of that. Um, and as far as the CW thing goes, yeah, I have. Uh, I, I just finished my master's degree this past year, I should say, now since it's 2020. And with, uh, with that heavy workload uh, lifted off of me, I've made it one of my goals to try to, uh, to get in there and improve on my code speed. I did I did have to learn it to upgrade. Uh, I was upgraded before all that went away, but uh, haven't been, uh, haven't stayed with it like I should. So I, I've set the goal to uh, to get in there and, and learn it and get proficient at it, and uh, not just using computers to, to be able to do it straight up. So uh, as soon as I get my HF rig back, that's uh, that's in the works. 
All right, up next we have KD4 WMX. Ken in quiet, Lodi, Virginia. Good evening, Ken. Well, good evening, Adam. This is KD4 WMX in quiet, Lodi, and it is quiet. My favorite modes to use is, of course, FM and digital. The uh, room that Dallas connects to, of course, is connected to my house. And, of course, W4 again controls that computer. Uh, as long as I get in the password to get in, i got to get, get it to him, but he's been under the weather. And so if you'll check him in privacy, Nick at your highway, um, he's been under the weather, so he's not going to check in, I, don't, I doubt it. But, um, not much report here, so it is quiet. I like it that way. So I will turn it back to net control, say 73 to everybody. And for NT, this is KD4, WMX clear. Okay, Ken, thanks for checking in. and appreciate the report from Lodi there. And uh, and just a quick reminder before we go to Chris here in just a second, uh, if you'd like to, uh, we, we would love to have uh, have you submit questions. Anybody out there for the NETs, you can hit me up on Facebook. Uh, you can go to the uh, NET website, and my email address is there. I'm good on QRZ, and shoot me a question. I've had uh, Robert in Kingsport actually... Uh, send this week's question and he sent one in for next week that I'll uh, tell you about later on. Uh, so next we have K1KC. How are things outside of Atlanta, Chris? They're wet. Very wet. We're kind of waterlogged right now. In fact, there's still a flash flood warning until tomorrow sometime. I would say that my favorite mode or operating mode are the voice modes and I you know because some of the voice modes are analog some are digital and all that but I would say the voice modes my least favorite would be digital I really don't care anything about FT8 or JT65 or that sort of thing it doesn't have any appeal for me now CW does have some appeal for me but uh, you know you're Amateur radio journey seems to take you in different directions, and uh, I used to think that I was going to do it all. Well, that was wrong. And then I thought, well, I'd concentrate on this one particular area, and after a while, that changed. So I'm just on for the ride. Okay, one Casey. Okay, Chris. Thanks for checking in. Appreciate your uh, your input there. And uh, yeah, it, it's I know what you mean. There's uh, there's goals I'll have about trying to work every band and every mode I possibly can. And I tell you, I've got more than I can say grace over, and, and still don't have everything. But uh, I guess that's a good problem to have. You know, if you if your hobby uh, has so many things available that you run out, that's uh, that's not such a bad thing. Um, I got into the digital mode myself because uh, for several years I was a dispatcher for a living and, and talked all day, but I still enjoyed amateur radio as a hobby. So that was a little something different for me to do. But as, as I've gotten away from that now in my current job, I've started warming back up to just sitting around rag chewing and, you know, nothing like uh, good late night round table and stuff. I really, really miss those. Used to have quite a bit of those years ago. All right, uh, and speaking of that, the last person, uh, one of the last people I had one of those with uh, on this uh, on the Bristol repeater here a while back, uh, Dallas and a few more of us were in there uh, talking about old radios and stuff and seemed to be a real enjoyable conversation. Uh, good evening, Dallas. Well, good evening, everybody on the net. I hope everybody's staying warm and dry. Just looked at the thermometer. What the weather station here, and it's uh, 56 degrees on my side of Bristol. Well, my favorite mode of operation for amateur radio is APRS, and it's a dwindling interest, I think. We're, we're going to have near the interest in it as we once did when we 
when I first got into it. Actually, I started out on pack, using pack, and uh, I would get on the radio and keyboard with the Commodore 64, if you're, if you're old enough to remember those old computers, but that's what I used initially to get on the air with the Commodore 64. And uh, I'd get on the air and hit a repeater here and go on to the next repeater. And I could go all the way into Washington, D.C. on packing. And, uh, of course, I kind of faded out. Nobody they uses packing anymore as is as such. But uh, then, then APRS came along. And uh, I used the same equipment to operate APRS with the addition of a GPS receiver. And uh, so, uh, and also now I'm, I'm into it in a big way. Let me pause and repeat. Now uh, I operate a gateway station here in Bristol where anybody that's mobile or you know, base station, whatever, if they want to send their position out over the airways on 144.390. I will relay that information on to uh, various APRS websites on the internet. And uh, I also maintain a digipeter up in Marion, Virginia at the, uh, the old Marion Life Saving Crew building, which is where we have our meetings for the, uh, am the uh, Mountain Empire Amateur Radio Society. And Nick, WD4, WD4DWN, he also runs a gateway at his house and does the same thing that I do. He passes on the, uh, the packet information on the Internet. So we that's one thing that we have maintained. Charlie Wicker got me into that. Uh, I don't know how many of you know Charlie Wicker, but he's, he, uh, he was all a big, big plus on packet info, packet in later on. Uh, got into APRS, and uh, I picked it up from him. In fact, our digipeter in Marion actually came from him. He donated it to the club. So, uh, and Charlie, if you're listening, I appreciate, still appreciate that. We'll, we'll maintain that thing as long as we can. So that's about it from over here on Island Road. Uh, we'll say 73 and turn it back to net control. This is KD4, CCO. Okay, that was thanks for checking in, and thank you for uh, keeping keeping that maintained in that area. Of course, I have uh, since I've got these FTM 400s, I have I've actually enjoyed uh, messing around with APRS some uh, 400 that it will transmit uh, whatever frequency the A band of your radio is on. It'll put that out on APRS, and uh, I was actually sitting here the other day, and I received a beacon from a gentleman that was driving through the area. I guess he he hit your uh, your note there, and uh, it showed that he was on uh, 146.52. So I switch over there, and I put out his call, and he comes back to me, and uh, we we had a short little QSO there on Simplex as he was passing through the area. I lost him uh, probably uh, up around exit 10, something like that. I kept I kept him for a little while there, but then another station picked him up that was further north and you know he had some QSO so that was that was a neat uh, neat little deal that's one of the things I've enjoyed the most about it is uh, anytime I'm mobile I transmit that uh, that beacon that way and even my family I've showed them how to go online and look and see where my location is so that's you know piquing my son's interest a little bit uh, even more that way so it's uh, it, it's definitely not uh, totally uh, out or anything we're sort we're, we're enjoying it uh, all right, up next we have uh, Ralph, uh, N4XRD, in Chilhowee, Virginia. Good evening, Ralph. N4NT in the group, N4XRD. Well, it's very interesting to hear the experienced people talk about all the different facets of ham radio. I certainly had a background in shortwave listening, and like Emmett, I, uh, I like uh, HF sideband voice. And I especially enjoy the older radios that I'll hear drifting a little bit or voices uh, a little bit off. I mean, that's 
kind of what radio always was for me as a youngster. I would hear these hams way out in the distance, and I would uh, wonder what they really sounded like because they they had that distinctive howl and whine going along with them. But as I as I go along, I I change what I'm interested in. This uh, Wires X has really got a grip on me. I'm continuing to learn more and more. Just just the Wires X uh, computer operation is pretty interesting. Like just tonight, for instance, I found out that I could go to View Group Window and change from the bookmark list to the connecting node list, and I could uh, actually read more information about everyone there. And also inter interested in uh, seeing if anybody would uh, make an entry in the chat window. Don't really know if exactly how that works, but uh, have uh, seen some activity in that before. So I'm just kind of all over the place, and uh, you know, feel like I'll always be the new guy. And for NT and for XRD. Okay, Ralph, thanks for checking in. And I, I've been in the hobby roughly 26, 27 years, and I still feel like the new guy. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of things. I, you know, a lot of my Elmers that are still around. A lot of questions I still, uh, I still ask them. So I don't know if that ever goes away entirely. But uh, I did discover something recently here on the uh, with the Wires X software. But if you check the box that says QSL Exchange, then uh, when someone has a, a different picture. Or what have you, um, in their QSL thing, it'll actually put that, uh, or if they have a picture uploaded, I should say, it'll actually put that in a file for you. And I was able to go in and change the, uh, the picture for the, the room, so I don't know if you see that or not, but, uh, it has the, uh, the net logo that pops up now. Whenever you log into the room, that little box that comes up, instead of just a black screen with wires X, it actually, uh, shows the, uh, the net logo. So that was a, a neat little thing I discovered about this mode. All right, up next we have um, KV8ZIO. Um, comes up as Arthur in West Virginia. Uh, good evening, Arthur. Good evening, Adam, and the rest of the group. Uh, yeah, on the, the QRZ, it says Arthur. Never really liked that. That was my mother's maiden name, but. My brother's got all the good grandpa names. Uh, I usually go by Scott, as in beam me up, Scotty. I'll go by anything, really, as long as it's time for dinner. Uh, this will be my first time checking into any net on the uh, Wires X network. Uh, I just received uh, this radio last night, and my first contact was Tom, A-B-A-R-L, um, Still learning the radio, how it all works. Uh, listen, just listening to all the folks comment about uh, their experiences and what they've all done in amateur radio. That that just makes my heart beat fast because I want to do it all too. Uh, up until uh, oh, I'd say about uh, August. Uh, I was solely on uh, two meters, and uh, my brother talked me into going digital with the D-Star. I fell in love with D-Star. I've, I've made uh, several uh, contacts on it, 11 countries, and it just makes my heart pound just really good. I know it's not, uh, uh, you know, HF, but... Right now, it's the best I can do, and this sounds really super clear. This this uh, Wires X room or, or repeater sounds super duper clear compared to my D Star. I have to go through uh, a DV4 Mini to uh, use D Star, and it seems like it just breaks in and out a little bit. But then again, that's probably uh, my internet connection. But other than that. I'll just turn it right back over to y'all. This is KB8ZIO, Charleston, West Virginia. Uh, 
Okay, Scott. Well, welcome to the net and uh, welcome to uh, to this mode as well. And we run a program. I'm not sure if you're familiar with NetLogger, and we run NetLogger. And what I do is uh, I'll, I'll change the people's names from the what the QRV says and put in what they uh, what they want to go by. So we'll have you in, Scott, for future nets, and we'll uh, we'll go with that. I, I certainly uh, um, sympathize with you on that. My first name. Everybody calls me Adam. I've always went by Adam, even in school and and that kind of thing. My first name is actually Christopher, but if you yelled that in a crowded room, I wouldn't turn around. But if you yelled at him, I would. So we will we will make every effort to call everybody what they want to be called because we certainly understand that. And uh, thank you for joining us. We're here every week and uh, be, uh, be glad to have you. We also have a website that has some information if you missed that at the start of the net. It's qsl.net slash tcme. Uh, if you're coming in through wires X, it, uh, it's that information should be listed in the in the box there. All right, up next we have uh, Mike in uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Good evening, Mike. I know I forgot to mention the calls a couple of times when I call on people. W1RT, are you still with us? Okay, I remodeled my shack here not too long ago. I have to turn all the way around to look at the wires X node now. So it looks like his note has went out, so if, uh, we'll check it again later. If he comes back in, we'll, we'll certainly give him a chance. Uh, next, we had uh, W4DWN. We checked him in by proxy. Uh, Ken put him on the list there, so we know he's uh, he's not on the air with us, but we got him on the list. Um, so that brings us to the end of the check-in list. Are there any other stations that would like to check in? Please call now. This is KM4X, Gary in Marion, Virginia. Good evening, Adam. Please check in W8XRW Whiskey 8 X-Ray Romeo Whiskey, Rob, in South Charleston, West Virginia. Just mark me down as in and out, please. Okay, we've picked up uh, KM4X Gary in uh, Marion, Virginia, and then uh, W8XRW Rob in South Charleston checking in and out tonight. Are there any other stations? Please call now. Okay, we'll go back up to Gary uh, for comments. Um, Gary, tonight's question uh, was, uh, what is your favorite mode to operate? Uh, so we'll throw that question out to you and any other comments that uh, you'd like to make. Good evening, Gary. Okay, Adam, you're doing a good job here. I'm following you on that logger. That's a pretty neat trick that you have going to keep track of the whole group. Well, I'd, I'd say uh, FM mode in my case, uh, just mainly because I think it's uh, more uh, appealing natural sound, uh, similar to being in the same room speaking to the person in the end, and that was one of my favorite things over the years. I think a lot of QSOs on the FM bands where FM was used, and uh, of course I guess another next most favorite would be single side band, but uh, most natural sounds going to come out of the FM. I was just good, clean passing, no noise in the background. I guess that may come from working in the telecommunications industry for three or thirty-eight and a half years, wanting to make everybody sound natural in the end-to-end -end telephone calls. That's about it. You're doing a good job, and uh, keep things going there. It's KM4X clear. Okay, Gary, thanks for checking in with us, and uh, appreciate the comment there. Uh, 
that's uh, definitely interesting to know, and I, I agree with you. That's uh, that is a, a good uh, good mode with the natural sound. And one of the fun things I like to do on sideband though with uh, with my kids is uh, they'll be we'll be listening to somebody, and I'll tune just slightly off frequency either direction and distort their voice a little bit, and they always uh, they get kind of cracked up about that how how people sound when they're a little off frequency on the uh, on sideband, like they're in, in a mayonnaise jar or something like. That. Yeah, that's, that's something I always thought was neat. All right, Rob was in and out. Uh, W8XRW is in and out. So that brings us to the bottom of the check-in list once again. Are there any other stations that would like to check in? Please call now. NM4L, Meadowview. Okay. Does uh, anyone have anything else for the uh, for the net before we do one last check-in call and, and close? Okay. One last call for additional check-in. Okay, well, we had a total number of uh, 13 check-ins, and then on NetLogger, we, we listed the uh, K9MI mic as an honorary check-in um, on the last call. Again, keep the family of uh, Mike Brown, K9MI, in your, in your thoughts and prayers as uh, Mike became silent key on January the 3rd of this year. Uh, we had uh, five states represented tonight and 10 nodes that uh, were connected to the room at one point. Um, I'd like to thank each one of you for taking time to check into the net. I did mention that I would tell you the uh, question for next week, and I was almost uh, about to forget. Next week's question, this will be posted on our website later. What is your What was your first rig? Two meters, seventy centimeter HS, and what did you What did you like about it, and do you still use it? So that'll be the question for next week. Uh, this is N4NT closing the Tri Cities Mountain Empire Fusion Net at. 10:07 uh, p.m. 7:3.